Myra? I think uh, she's not. Uh, yeah, do you know the starting uh, prayer? No, ma'am. Uh, who can do it? Disha, can you start today? Adisha, Adisha, can you do it? Or Srujan, any one of you? Ma'am, what is the starting prayer? Um, can start with uh, uh, Guru Brahma. Yes, ma'am, I can do it. Okay. Yeah, we'll start. I had a light up here. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Saksar Para Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama, Om Shanti, 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 Hari. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Yom. Yeah. So. Thank you. Yeah. So let's start uh, today. So last session, um, we did we did learn hatching and cross hatching, right? So last session we learned about about um, how we are moving from contour lines and then how the contour lines is actually helping us to give more depth, okay, in terms of the tone, okay. The tone is more dark, then you actually draw more of those hatching and cross hatching. So hatching is used basically to show single line, okay. And when it comes to cross hatching, it is you're showing, you're crossing that hatching lines and then that will give more depth to the tone and also to the shading. When you want to shade and you want to give the shadow effect, okay, the darkness and increase the tone, okay, that's when you go for um, cross hatching, okay. And when there is more of light, okay, highlight area, you do less of hatching or it's very simple uh, lines, okay. That's just the simple hatching you do. We don't do cross hatching in those places. So we did uh, practice on uh, different shapes. We tried different shapes, right? All the 3D shapes. And then on the 3D shape, we tried hatching, cross hatching, stipping. Stipping is the dot. Okay, there is combing also, which is like more of a, um, you know, a curved lines. Like you see the spring kind of a lines that you see. And uh, then it's a smudging. Smudging is you don't have to draw any lines or such. You can use the direct light led to darken the line, darken the area, dark area or the shadow area. And when it comes to the highlight part, you have to do as minimum as possible, the shading part. So that's when you do the, um, when you're using the whole of your pencil, you're not just using, making any lines or cross hatching and anything when you come for shading, okay? When it comes to shading. So you studied all the four different types, okay? Cross hatch, uh, hatching, cross hatching, stripping and shading. Okay, I think homework has all these things. All of you should try. And then there is a variation in the um, in the boxes which I have shown. First is the light part, light to the darkest tone that you will move. Okay, so if you see the assignment carefully, you can observe uh, that you know the light part will have minimal uh, number of lines or cross lines or whatever. When you it depends on what kind of uh, shading that you are using. So when it comes to the light part, it is very minimal. When it when you start moving to the darker area, you have to give more lines. You have to give more uh, hatching. Okay, even the uh, shading also you have to give darker uh, effect. Okay, that's when you move from the light to the dark part. Okay, so in the homework there is that um, you know that I have given. So that's very good, very good thing for practice. Okay, and so practice even if you even if you finish the homework. 
uh, it's nice so just try different type of uh, you know uh, this shapes so you have done only uh, cube and then we have done only sphere and when we done the cone okay so try different shape there is cuboid there is a prism okay you just draw the prism you just see where the highlight is falling the light is falling the rest will be the darker side so darker side is where you give the more of shading okay that's how you go for the um you know um that's where when you go for the shading part it comes to um, different tones okay darker tone and light tone so keep practice, practicing this even though you have completed the assignment and who have not completed use this as a very important uh, lesson to practice okay now we will move on today um, where application of this hatching and cross hatching so mainly where we are using this where are we using this uh, technique basically when we draw something in forms of uh, still life still life is something where you keep some object directly we looking at the object okay it can be a fruit it can be a flower it can be something on the table okay it can be a vase anything like that it it is having it shows that there is still life in it okay uh, that's why it's called as still life though it is a non living thing but you uh, tell it as a still life it can be even fruits or you know flowers anything that is a object of study okay that is called as still life you focus on that okay and then you try to draw that is still life so that there you will see a lot of you know hatching work that can be done shadings that can be done and appear as if though the 3d image is coming out of your page you know that as if though that kind of a shading that you can give next is the scenery or landscape okay landscape birds you can bring real life into that picture okay by actually drawing those hatching and cross hatching lines in the right place okay where there is shadow whether the trees are more thicker then where we can use lot of cross contour lines cross hatching okay all these things can be you know um, very important while you start drawing them this is where the application comes into picture so today we are going to do application of cross hatching and hatching so first we have the still life so still life what i'll do is i will um i'll just show you my i'm not able to show you this let me see i'll just i'm just joining uh, joining another uh, thing that is able to do to uh, this okay. so what we'll do is that i'm getting started uh let's take the pen and pencil and we will start drawing the object so today we have a mug in front of uh, me okay i'll just uh, shift the um, shift the camera to the book okay let me know once people can see the book so they uh change the position of my this one or is it fine like the camera or is it fine if i draw it over here it's fine right Uh, it's coming in rotated maybe i should tilt it no yeah so now it's fine right. and now it's good plus so magic perfect this should be fine okay let me know in case you're not able to
time what you have kept uh, slightly that then, time what you had kept was better so maybe a little bit more that uh, laptop is seen little bit if you can move it it look uh, better yeah if you move the book up oh uh, yeah okay yeah ha uh, so we will start drawing the cup today and um, so it's a simple so first what i want to do is all of you um, okay try to put the uh, you know uh, camera on the book and then you can start um, you know start drawing okay as i when i just show so first what we will do simple if it's if it's a you know cup first you have to draw the outline so anything give it a name as still life okay still life cup so what i do i'll just draw a concentric circle first it's an outline okay this is the mouth of the cup that i'm drawing okay and the shape of the cup is like when you drink milk or you know coffee so you, you just have little bit bend at the bottom okay so first draw the outline simple hmm? simple just draw the outline here at the bo bottom also you have to give that curved surface it should not be flat it should also be curved okay now the hold the hold of the holder of the mug right that handle of the mug it's not over here but the angle is changed and it is facing over here so it is like you have moved the uh, handle and it's such that you know you are going to see that handle over here coming out over here so first what we will do we will write down how the handle looks like so all of you start drawing as i'm showing you so bring this till to the bottom over here right to the bottom okay this is the handle that is fixed and then there is a curvature here okay this is also coming in joining here here you see that you have to give an outline that this is curved so you have to show that this is curved so what happens is this part which is inside of the thing is also seen here okay so you will give a curved kind of something over here and then it comes over here right okay so that is your outline need to join here it's coming right to the end let this be little curved over here and then it, you can make it straight again curved at the bottom make sure this line is joining the same place where you have stopped here so this angle make sure this angle is straight okay i'm not showing a line but you should make sure that angle is straight okay and then you have a opening cup opening here simple all of you got this so this is the outline first draw the outline i will tell you how you can go for further steps okay just using the contour lines and cross contour lines only we will do the shading and it should appear as if though it is the it's a real cup it's coming out to be a real cup okay Oh, just bringing it more closer yeah 
all of you done with this okay yes okay so moving on now what we studied in the cross contour in the contour lines initially what we studied that if the object is like this curved or curved object okay we have to show that there is a 3d effect to that to give a 3d effect to that object we should also give a curved line across we have to give that curved line across throughout the object okay throughout the whatever you are drawing so make sure that you want to show that it is in a, it's a curved shape okay so you're just drawing hold your pencil as light as possible see i'm holding it very far probably you you can hold it so much or even so much is fine okay but don't hold it too hard if you press it hard here you will put pressure on the page also it should be hold it should hold the pencil very lightly so that you will not press too much on the paper and then you can erase it whenever you want it should be very light to erase okay then you are drawing these lines okay this is a curved line you're going for a curved line because the object is also curved and you want to show that in a 3d effect right and delete some extra lines if you have put okay that's okay so just give up curve so this is like almost one fourth of the design is like okay is done because you are showing it's a curved object okay and you're giving trying to show it's a the 3d effect of the object you're showing okay that's the first step now second step even inside also you can give even inside also you can give that curved nature only you have to show you have to give that curved shape of the cup how whichever way the cup is right that way only you have to give the curved lines so you are drawing the contour lines now so now see it's already you know kind of uh, you're showing the depth here you're showing the depth that means the cup is hollow okay there's something like hollow inside this is the bulgy nature of the cup okay so so much is done now again you have some curve part of it over here okay so what you have to do you have to start making that curve show that curve nature over here as well so bring in that curve part curved contour lines okay so i'm just trying to bring in that curved line like this okay and then you start here when you come little closer bring in the curved lines from within legs at certain point it's, you have to show that curved even that side and this side so point you can kind of combine the two okay then inside also you can show these curved lines like this so this is nothing but these lines are your contour okay contour lines now you have got uh, like you know halfway through getting the uh, 3d effect of the cup okay still there's lot like still there is lot to do but you are giving an indication that it is a 3d picture okay now just by doing a cross contour you are bringing in the shades and the tone okay now the highlighted area you should know where it is highlighted or the light is falling 
so in this picture i see that light is falling till here means this side area is, is fully light color and this side it's more dark that means the you know the light or the torch or whatever your it's coming from window or whatever it can be the light is this side okay because the light is this side it is highlighting this area this entire area is getting highlighted this side is your shadow okay so because it is shadow what we will do we will just create one small shadow effect here like this the cup's shadow it's just falling like this okay so you just you can draw one line and then you can put a indicating that there will be a shadow this side okay the page is ended here so i just stop till you know okay so the sh shadow effect is here now this is half done what i told okay now when we start with the cross contour line is where you can show even the tones and the shadow effect properly so till here it is highlighted so what we will do till here we will start putting cross contour lines very little bit far off okay so what we'll do since the cup is not too much bent here okay it comes this side only it will bend so you can just put a little bit bend and then your lines also should be little far off here it is little straight the corners are little more cross uh, this one bent so you can make, put a straight con uh, contour line but distance apart don't put very close to each other you do a cross hatching but for a highlighted area so what you will do you will not put lot of lines okay this is what you you show for a this one you can give even this lines also little bit more placing let me know if i'm very fast or slow okay if you're not able to follow just stop and just ask huh? for explanation okay and then here also it is highlighted more at this part okay little bit of shadow is falling uh, this side because it's more the corner right corner of the uh, handle so what happens is till here it is little more dark this side is more dark this side is highlighted okay so what we will do we will write a cross contour line but it will not be very close to each other lines will be a little far off like this it's very far off not very much but for this particular place it is actually little far off okay so much only okay now you see that there is this side is more dark so what you do is start putting more curved lines this side it is more dark little bit of effect of the shadow is there so your lines what you have to do only half of it don't go till here only half of it you are going to show the shadow effect so just show cro close contour lines which is cutting across this place okay here also little bit till here it is more of shadow so i'm just putting more and more lines only this part only this part okay the rest part you're not showing anything here you're not doing any other lines but here you're going to show more and more close close lines cutting across close close lines this part also is very much close lines because again here is more of shadow so what are you doing actually you are taking each and every part okay and then you are trying to see oh is this shadow part or is this highlighted part if it's shadow part you are going to put more close lines close contour lines if it is highlighted part like this don't put lot of cross contour lines okay just simple lines here it is shadow part so i am using some more extra contour lines here okay this part is more shadow effect okay handle part 
now again you see this part is still we have not completed it is dark this part is highlighted area we have already shown now one more thing you have to notice is because of the cup no the light is falling like this it's not too much on the top it is little on the side only so because it's on the side what happened this area is there no this area this curved area is actually is under the shadow part so what is happening light is this side the angle of light is such that this cup wall is there no it is creating little bit shadow here here it is highlighted this region is getting highlighted by the uh, light okay this region is shadow so what we will do we will actually start putting little more contour lines this side so make sure it is little curved and then because the cup is also curved here okay so inside it is curved right so bring in that effect bring in that curved effect here here you can show these more of shadow effects so cross contour lines is required okay and this side is where the highlighted area is so we will draw little more spacious lines cross lines but it it is more spacious okay and then give a little bit curved effect of the lines of the cup because it is a curved there curvy cup okay i will tell you how to combine these two shadow and the highlighted area at the last last part of it okay first you if you have written a line kind of it we have to make sure that it's not showing up like a line you know kind of separation we have to kind of merge it okay i will tell you how we can do that merging part later hmm? now first understand how we can create that shadow effect and highlighted area in contour and cross contour or you know hatching and cross hatch okay now this part is where the shadow or the dark now start doing the darker region by putting more close lines close knit lines okay that's the at one point you can actually kind of merge the two Okay, straight lines. Straight lines. Now what I am doing, I am cutting across, and this cutting across line will actually be more dark only till here. Okay. And this is make it little curved, curvy. And bring it till here and stop. Don't go beyond this. because this is where it is getting the shadow region and you are putting more cross contour lines here this side only okay little bit curve okay give it a curve don't put straight lines okay give it a curve lines like this that's how you can show the 3d effect of the lines uh, of the cup 3d effect of the cup you can show if you give a curved line okay you can even use darker pencil like you can go beyond uh, 2b okay i think you you are using 2b if you you can use even if you can get hold of 4b 6b okay that is also fine so try to thicken those lines okay and even if you want to use more than one cross so i have used vertical and i have used horizontal even if you want to slant you want to want to use some slant lines also you can use there's a corner part which is more dark okay use some slant lines okay that it should show that it is a shadow region see how dark it become 
I'm using cross also. More than one type of line, just not vertical and horizontal. It's more than one type of line also you can use, okay? Now, just making a little bit, okay, to here, okay? <clears throat> Okay, so this shadow part of the cup is done. Okay, now there is real shadow of the cup that is falling. Okay, that part is where you can do a proper straight cross contour line. So, see here you see the difference. There you have to give a cross, you know, uh, contour line which is curved. Okay, because the cup was curved. Here the shadow is actually straight. We don't have to curve the shadow. So shadow may you can just always do this straight cut across cross hatching. So that's the difference why you're using curved. Curved is more for the 3D effect of the cup. Okay, here it's a flat shadow of the cup. And here it is like a pitch dark. You know, there's no light coming this side initially. Initially, just below the cup, no, there's absolutely no light. So you'll find that it is like totally dark. So there you can give very much close, you know, uh, shadow effect. And then a little bit less on the broader side. So if you observe the cup, right, more it will be dark or the shadow effect of the cup or any object will be more dark towards the object. Later on, that light get dispersed. Okay. Then you don't have to keep it like a proper line. Let it go outside also here. This is okay. Because it's a shadow, right? It just spreads. Uh, so don't make it too much like uh, some kind of a shape. Okay. So it just spreads around. So you can make it even that spreading kind of a thing. Okay. Okay, now the point comes where you want to actually merge the two. So how it is looking like, it's it's very evident and very clear. This is properly the highlighted area or the light is falling here, the light is falling more. Here there is shadow. Okay, here also the cup is little on the shadow side. Here inside the cup, you see, this is more dark, this light. So we, we know it's clearly evident, but it should not be like this in a proper real thing. It, there should be proper merging of the two. So what will happen in the time where you have to merge, you have to bring in the dark part little on the highlighted area, little bit. Okay. So make it more natural. Okay. It should not be like a line separation. So it should be bring bring the little bit of darker side on uh, uh, darker shadow side to the highlighted area. Okay. Then here also you can put little more thin fine lines, okay, not like dark lines. You can use a lighter pencil, sharp pencil when you go for the highlighted area. Okay, and then show that. Don't make it too much dark this side, okay. And here also. So here when it comes just a little bit of merging. That's called merging. So from darker, you're bringing it to the lighter side, little bit. Make sure it's not like a standing, like a straight line. Okay. And here as well. So I'm just bringing in the dark side more to the light side. And then put fine lines or, you know, 
this line should be more far apart it should not be too close to each other okay if any line is standing out right make sure it is kind of merging with the shadow part don't make it stand out like that properly it should merge okay so see how you are able to do it's not at all uh, difficult that's what i want to show so it's not difficult at all okay so you can uh, like anyone can do if you know if you understand the concept of it. so you're just using the contour lines cross contour lines okay and then you are trying to uh, <clears throat> okay you're trying to bring out a 3d pattern in that okay okay see he, here please note that you are not using any smudging tool see using paper and mixing this blending this no okay this technique is completely different this technically is called as hatching and cross hatching way of uh, doing a um you know object okay still life when you do a blending okay i will teach you later on blending is there where you are actually combining this using a some other tool it can be paper or it can be anything okay i will tell you those tools that is where you do a smudging smudging and you are not there you are not using this clear lines you are not using the cross you know cross hatching lines Okay, you're not using so those are different way so even in stripping you can do okay just by dots just by dots you can bring in the darker dots and the uh, lighter uh, uh, you know uh, spacious dots but you should not again smudge the two by your hand or you know that will actually spoil the whole thing the purpose is here to understand cross hatching and hatching okay so don't try to merge them by your hand or make it more dirty Okay. Always make sure of that. Huh? Okay. I wanted to show something, but I'm not able to join this. I think something. Okay. all of you are done with it uh, shall i wait for shall i give some more time yeah anyone just mute and uh... not able to see this okay all of you done um, yes ma'am okay let us just try to show my uh, share my screen uh want to do just log in different user and try this Okay. 
so this is still life okay still life um okay this is still life and uh, what we see is here yeah myra i see that you are actually holding it okay show me once it's done myra okay yeah surjana good yeah done it well yes okay now i'll just share my screen adisha and dia can you show yours is it possible no sure ah uh, hetty good yes good good hetty yeah disha yeah i'm seeing yes wonderful wonderful yeah wonderful yeah myra also good yes myra okay okay so i'll just uh, share my screen and i want you to see one uh, just let me know you guys can see this right you can see this okay so this is what see this is the cup that we did okay see this is a regular cup so just by seeing this you might get scared okay and you might feel that oh my god i i don't know how to do this i mean it's so difficult okay you might feel but if you follow the step by step procedure i have put it in this document so any time you can refer so draw simple lines like this first border okay border and outline and then you can start doing the uh, cross contour and contour lines okay it's very easy huh? so you should try it out on different objects now this is a, a apple i have also shown how we can do so first you try you know uh, draw the outline okay first the outline and then you have little bit of shadow also written here then you start putting the um, the shadow lines more here okay so there is step by step that you can follow so here what happens this highlighted area initially uh, not shown too much of lines okay given more to the co uh, cross contour lines this part of it okay but when you write it down you have to write it write those uh, lines initially okay when you start shading it you have to start doing the cross contour lines only for this shadow part okay here cross contour lines you can do but it is very far spaced okay so this will be like i will uh, put it as an assignment okay try to do this this is the apple okay so you can take your own apple i have just put in here and i have given you the hints okay how you can actually make it look like the real apple see this real apple kind of a thing right by just by doing a sketch pencil sketch okay huh? now we will move on to the the next part step by step uh, i have actually put this in the document it's a yosemite valley okay it's a it's a national park so it's a landscape actually the landscapes landscape look like this final landscape look like it's quite simple i've not bought in too much of uh, you know um, mountains and too much of bushes and all so there when you go for further shading and blending and all those things right there you can actually uh, go for it okay you can we can introduce more of complications but i just kept it very simple so this will be your final how it looks like okay final uh, landscape okay so we'll just start off Uh, we don't have much time 10 minutes still i tell you how for landscape also you can start doing the work okay okay so next page we will start working on the landscape okay so i'll just uh, you can check uh, you can look into my book because i think if i share uh, this will become small so i'll just stop the share thing you will get it in the document so don't worry about that okay 
using another new sheet in the book so you can start i mean your book um open the new sheet okay so what we'll do here we will do a landscape so landscape or scenery okay anything so now what we will do first put an outline okay so outline usually for any landscape what it will be there it will be um mountains okay grass tree so what we will do is just a very fair outline of the rock something like this more of a let us standing rock here then there is like you know it's like for the hill top so you can just follow follow me what i'm drawing just writing the outline of the mountains okay it can be random the mountains need not be like proper pointed nose only pointed shape pointed hill okay can be like this So there's like a lot of mountains like this hmm? coming together. We are just pointing it out downwards. Okay. This is the outline, simple outline. Okay. Don't go to the detail in when you do an outline. Now, next step will be what we do? We just darken the lines a little bit. So this this is like the hill, right? So we'll have a lot of grass on the way. So so just right here and there a little bit of grass mud it's a little more details a little bit of falls i guess here so then highlight it. Highlight light in the sense just you are giving a darker border. Okay, that will be your next. There is some kind of a depth in this crack. Those things, little bit of detail. Okay, next it is more of cuts. So this is more like a cannon rocks. Okay. Here and there you can see this cuts. So this is where you can find the shadow area. Where is the shadow area? You can look into those things. And then there is false kind of a thing, those things, okay? Then since it's a vertical, you know, uh, more of vertical lines will be there because it's a rock here, okay? So it's not too much curved like what we saw in the cup. So what we can do is we can start giving more of vertical lines, vertical, okay? Contour lines little far off from each other. Okay.
if the mountain is cross make sure your lines also is cross like how you did for a cup right you gave a curved line for a cup contour line was curved here it is mountain so wherever there is the lines are bent the mountain rock is kind of a bent you should give that contour line like that only so like this if it's straight like straight okay then here it is falling like this to show that 3d part of it here again you see till here it is straight the rocks are straight then you see this bend here then you have to give this kind of lines again when you see here you have to give this kind of lines getting it so wherever the flow of the mountain is there you follow that path on that lines you have to give see this like this so you can clearly know that the mountain is like this the shape has taken the shape okay i see there's a cut in the thing so Okay. Now we just have a little bit short of time today. Okay, but we are almost see. Uh, uh, half of it is done. Half of it is done means our single contour line. What I am saying, single contour line is done. so when wherever the shadow effect you want to show this is the remaining part of the picture that's where the the rest half of the picture will come when we want to do okay okay now here there is some kind of a shadow so start giving the cross contour lines effect wherever there is a shadow it's like these lines are here and he this part so this is highlighted part this part is more of shadow so i'll give a cross contour line to this part. see the best place where you can find more of these contour lines example is comics these old comics are there no tin tinkle okay chandu chacha there's lot of other comics so you see those uh, characters how they are drawing most of them will be these contour lines only okay so what you can do pick up some old magazines try to draw those characters okay it can be some phantom or some uh, cha cha chaudhri lot of other cartoons right so draw those uh, specific person okay and then you can create this shadow effect on the person's face okay face is difficult you can take some trees leaves those kind of thing at the background which is there okay now this part of the mountain is highlighted completely highlighted so i'm just erasing all even these lines because this part of mountain is totally bright okay so your 
this one here for mud and all right you can just show some lines and then grass grass kind of thing is growing here okay this is totally highlighted part so i just leaving it this area is highlighted okay this is a simple uh, landscape this entire thing is totally highlighted there are few obstructions here like some rocks only those things you can show Okay. So it's a very simple landscape I took because I didn't want to uh, complicate you because you've just uh, started to learn. Okay. So this is a little bit of shadow. So wherever there is a shadow part, you have to do a cross contour line. Okay. Now this entire region is little highlighted. So what you can do, you can just put some lines like this all over the place. Just to show that the picture is complete, but still it has some kind of a highlighted area, right? I'll show it totally white. I can just highlight a little bit here and there. If it's some some places where it's totally bright, so there you don't have to shadow it. You can leave it. So this is the landscape which I have taken like simple landscape for you guys. Um, try doing it, take, take some magazine, okay, and try to find out some trees or background shade, some hut is there, okay, open village, these kind of things, that's more easier, okay, than character. Don't try character right away unless you know some concept of writing the face. But otherwise, when you want to learn more of cross hatching and hatching, what I request you is try with the um, this thing. Okay, I will share this document uh, for this chapter. This is not an assignment document. This document will have that um, this one still life and landscape shading step by step is there. Then apple thing is there, which is also there in the document. Okay, so what I will do, I will. Uh, post this into the graphic. Okay. So I'll post this into the graphic and then I will uh, make sure that uh, okay, you guys can actually uh, look into the notes first initially. Okay, And then whenever in your free time or any magazine you see, you just start drawing whatever instructions have given step by step, start drawing it. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll prepare some assignment, something simple for you. And then you can do one still life and one landscape. Okay, that will be the assignment, which I will post it. But this will be there in the note section. Note section, this document will be there. You can download this as well as uh, this and you can practice it. Okay. So, and make sure you give the assignments on time. There are some pending assignments for some children. So, you can understand. Uh, try to finish that and submit it before next Wednesday. Okay. And the next Wednesday, same time. Uh, your assignment will be ready for this uh, for this whatever we covered this, this day's cover this one okay chapter you can do those assignment okay next Wednesday okay so we'll end the class for today all of you learned something new today yes ma'am okay yeah um so, uh, who will say the close, uh, closing prayer? I think uh, Myra told us it, opening prayer. No, I told. Who is it, Rijana? Rijana, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Rijana, yeah. Can you tell the closing prayer also? What is the closing prayer? Um... I think it's uh, Asatoma Sadgamaya. Ashwini ji, uh, Asatoma Sadgamaya, Alba. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
हाँ यस यस असतो तमसो मृत्यो मृतम गांति शांति शांति हरि ओ श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ Thank you, Mom.